So we begin by cutting the tubes to length. Uh, we wanna go ahead and place the tube in the pipe cutter. We're gonna tighten it so that we can go ahead and score the entire circumference of the tube and continue to turn and tighten until eventually we'll have a nice clean break. So for the monitor plaque, we are using a half inch HDPE plastic. This is six by six, and here we are making our marks so that we can go ahead and pierce through using a eighth inch drill bit. And then we will wanna go ahead and countersink those holes so that everything is nice and flush. We're also making our lines for where the HJ15s are gonna be, and that's uh, an inch inside on both sides and two and a half inches from the top. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and place the HJ15s, which are going to secure the pipe for the monitor mount. From there, we're gonna go ahead and pierce through with the eighth inch countersink drill bit. We're gonna go ahead and pierce and countersink the four holes for the monitor screws. From there, we're gonna just use the eighth inch part of the bit to go ahead and pierce through. We'll flip it over and countersink the other end. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install the HJ15s. We use the M6N nuts to press fit them into the countersunk side. From there, we're gonna flip that over and install the actual connector, which is an H16. Before we install this connector, we wanna go ahead and place an M6N nut inside of it on the flat side there so that we can go ahead and install the other pipe. If uh, you don't do that, then you'll have nothing to secure the next step too. So it's very crucial that you don't forget that M6N nut. All of the nuts and bolts are tightened using a five millimeter Allen key. So let's place our first pipe on top of the H16s and we'll group the H16 with the H15 and together they become the HJ15 joint set. From there, we're just gonna go ahead and finalize this step with installing an HJ1 joint set. And now we'll go ahead and install the plaque to the monitor. We are using the 5 8 inch regular standard monitor mount screws, which you could find at any hardware store. So we'll finish installing this plaque to the monitor and then we'll go ahead and begin to make the arm which is going to be installed to our existing structure. Something very important to remember when inserting the tubes in the HJ joint sets is to insert them all the way to the second assembly line to make sure that they are properly installed. It is also equally important that the nuts and bolts are properly tightened. 12 to 14 Newton metric torque is the right tightness. In other words, make sure to feel the bolt pass through the nut, at least one or two threads on the other side to make sure that you've secured them properly.
So let's put it all together. Reference the ergonomic chart to install at optimal height. When installing an HJ12 joint set, you will be using an AP hinge to clip onto the tube. It's important to not over tighten the HJ12, but it's also important not to under tighten the HJ12. For a small job like this, it's easy to use the 5mm key to do all of the installation. But if you wanted to, you can opt for a drill with a 5mm bit. At this point, we're going to install the monitor to the actual arm. We're using the drill to make sure we get it nice and tight. And then we're just checking to be sure that all of the nuts and bolts are properly tightened. So safety first, it is a swinging mechanism. So we want to go ahead and attach the 5 8 inch self tap metal screws to the HJ12s. And then we're going to also do that for the HJ1 joint set, which is the one that's going to join the monitor to the actual arm. So once we have that done, it's just a matter of checking all of the nuts and bolts, making sure everything is nice and tight and making any little minor adjustments. All right, good job. So we finished up the monitor mount installation. Remember, you can always add multiple monitor mounts if you needed to. Just make sure to follow the steps and go build.